youth and politics in this particular segment. We shall take a look at what has been uh, taking place in the past one week and uh, taking a look at some of the you know, political uh, turn of events. What is it that we should be looking forward to to help us in uh, talking about politics and youth? I am joined to my extreme left. I am with uh, Kirago Murudi. He is an aspirant of a parliamentary seat of KPP constituency. That is Kirago Murudi to my extreme, extreme right. Sorry. <coughs> And uh, next to me, I am with Faris Wambugo Jane. He is uh, the Jubilee Youth League Kiambu County uh, uh, leader. Karibu sana, uh, uh, lady uh, gentleman. Thank you, thank you so much. Karibu sana, ladies and gentlemen. Nimeza kwenye hivi la watu sana. But mko salama? Mko salama kabisa. Yeah. Kirago, kirago? Mko salama. Kupo. Yeah. Before we get into politics, yes. do you guys love football? Of course. You watch, you watch football? Yeah, a lot. I'm a, I'm a staunch uh, supporter of, uh, a, a fan, a great fan of uh, Manchester United. Man you? Yeah. No wonder you have red. <laughs> it's always red for me. <laughs> yeah. like you football? Power. Unfortunately, I'm not a, a supporter of football. You, you, you don't watch football? The last time I was here, I told uh. you that I'm a fan of uh, motorsport. Oh yes, yeah, I yeah. remember. Yeah. I remember. Uh -huh. Wow, wow, okay. So, wait, wait. You, you are awake? Till late last night. Yeah. You're watching the AFCON? Of course. What do you think about the team that won? Uh, I think uh, as a, uh, Senegal deserved it. They yeah. really deserved it. And yeah. um, it's, it's, a great, it's a great thing that they, they, they have never won AFCON. Yes, they have never. For the past 10 years. Time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, even when it comes to politics and, uh, you know, most mm. of the people who are in politics, they also love football. Mm. I know also... Uh, most of the politicians were up up to late uh, late night. Yeah, and I can say for sure, for sure that Raila Odinga was supporting the team that I was supporting <laughs> Senegal, <laughs> and it was so good. You yeah. see, they have really struggled. Uh. Yeah, they oh, have yeah. struggled, uh. and finally, uh. Imengiana. Imengiana. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, so we are now looking Malala. Looking Malala, but uh, I overheard. Uh. And uh, they say work without play make, makes ja, Jack a dull boy. A dull boy. Yeah. So uh, I heard that Senegal won, and uh, congratulations to Senegal. Uh -huh. It's a big win for them. Majority of the ball who bet or who na wale chama bet sana. Yeah, lazima. Huh? It had to be. Where, where was your bet? Senegal winning or Senegal losing? Uh, personally, I don't place bet bets, uh. but I, in my heart, I was betting. I was rooting for Senegal. Oh, you're rooting for Senegal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we are like you. I am like you. Ah, Mimi is all as a news. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody chasing an inanimate object around the field. Oh, it is okay. <laughs> That's how I call it. Uh, uh, so some people they prefer to call it a dry skin. <laughs> a dry skin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, it, it, it is still sports. It's sports, yeah. and we thank God for for that much. But uh, let's now get into politics, and uh, uh, I want you to engage with us. The hashtag is Why in the Morning at Ram Maguko, and at Y254 Channel is where you can be able to uh, find us. Ensure that you let us know where you're watching us from, and give us your thoughts about the political uh, uh, t uh, topics that uh, we have in store for you. Uh, first things first. Let's talk about the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Uh, the they claim yesterday that President Uru Kenyatta is uh, scheming to wield power behind the, uh, the behind the scenes by imposing Honorable Raila Odinga on uh, Kenyans in the coming general elections. And according to uh, uh, what Ruto says, he says that Uhuru aims to keep staying in power, and they term Honorable Raila Odinga as a state project. Let me start with you. You are in Jubilee. Yes. What would be your response to such claims? Honestly, Ram, I think it's very absurd. It's very absurd to say that uh, President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta wants to stay in power mm. by pushing uh, Raila Odinga to be the president. If you can remember, Raila Odinga even actually started vying way before Uhuru mm. Kenyatta even uh, thought of ever becoming the president of this country. So it's very absurd to see that and to hear some people say that Raila Odinga is being pushed to be the president by Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm. Raila Odinga has been running for president since 1997. Mm. So 
I don't know, but I, I don't believe it. It can't be. Mudav, Honorable Musala Mudavadi said this, and I quote, Uhuru plans to remain in power be, behind the scenes. He is the patron of Azimiola, uh, of, of Azimiola Omoja and the chairman, and he is fronting Raila Odinga as president. He wants to choose the vice president for Raila so that he remains in command. End of quote. Kirago, your thoughts? Ram, I, I think uh, it's kind of a reflection, and mm. uh, the future is made by things that we don't discuss, and uh, we must discuss things as they are. Mm. Um, uh, we have seen the president, uh, we, we saw the president uh, make, make the handshake with the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, and uh, for the past three years we have seen Raila Odinga enjoying the state resources and res state machinery. And uh, the deputy president was left uh, fighting his, uh, the government and fighting the government that he was elected with. And this is something that is unusual that only occurs in only dysfunctional societies. So we can't ignore the fact that Raila uh, is enjoying state resources uh, in the government of Kenya. So, and uh, when you see, we saw the other day that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga had sponsored the BBI. Uh, an amendment which unfortunately was uh, declared null and void. And uh, in the BBI we saw some formations and uh, creation of uh, some offices. We had the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Ministers. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective and from where I sit, I mm -hmm. saw this as a president who doesn't want to let go of power or a president that want to keep pulling the, stri the, the strings uh, even if he's away from government. So we can't ignore from the fact that Uhuru and uh, Raila are behind a hidden motive and uh, he has left... You the believe they have... And, 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 and what, this motive that people keep talking about here, uh, what, are we, what exactly are we talking about here? Because come, come 2022, uh, August 9th, Uhuru will not obviously be in power, exactly. will he? No, he won't. It is a fact that he will leave his seat for somebody else, unless there is something, another conversation that is uh, taking place here, Kirago. I mean, look at the media. We saw the other day, every time that pres the president talks, he, he keeps on saying that we cannot elect a thief. And those things, th those words are directed to one and th the one and only the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Mm. So there's ca some kind of detach from, uh, between the president and the deputy president. Mm. And it's seeming, seemingly clear that the president is supporting Raila Odinga for president. And he has left us, those who supported him in 2013, those of us who supported him in 2017. And I remember very well in 2018, mm. he stood up and, say, and said, um, Yangu Kumi, Yaruto Kumi. Mm. So he has left the entire electorate um, in a dilemma. So the only thing that we can do in a dilemma, we just fall into assumptions. And those assumptions are, are the ones that you are saying that Uhuru Kenyatta is, is going to support uh, Raila Odinga in 2022. Okay. Uh -huh. Ram, uh, allow me to interject because it's, it's, it's very funny that out of all those people who are vying for, for presidential um, seats, mm. It's only when we say, we, when we talk about a thief, they even know, even them in order, they know that we are referring to a certain person. Why is it that uh, Mutua is not being referred as a thief? We, 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 we didn't mention anybody's name. But when we say, and it's true, I would also join uh, the president in saying that power should not be left to a thief. Because we have made gains as a country. A lot of them, if we are going to go down that lane, and elect somebody who doesn't care about the posterities to come, then there's no need of all these developments that we have right now. Okay, speaking of developments, still, the Deputy President William Bruto said this, and I quote, we are not fools. All we are saying is that the issues of Kenyans are more important than anything else. We want to fix issues to do with the hustlers. We shall put aside a hundred billion Kenya shillings for the housing and manufacturing sector. Because of that. Uh, Ram, uh, I would like to, 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 to comment on the same, because uh, the Deputy President has been uh, the Deputy President of Kenya for, for, this is I think the 10th year, and he has been in the government. 
Right now, as we speak, he has made promises that goes over two trillion. And as Imam Mali and Asema, we are going to give a hundred billion to, to this. He goes to another place. He has made those pledges. He's supporting hustlers. He is supporting hustlers. But uh. you see, you, the best way to support hustlers is at the, where he sits, at the IBEC. He could have made those changes nine years ago. Where is it now that Said Yomejua, the hustlers in the country? Okay, can I go? Well, I think Ram, uh, all the eyes are on the ball mm. on 2022. Mm. And as we head to the 2022 general elections, we must think twice as an electorate. Mm. At the moment, the economy is already down on its knees. We need a person who is going to get us, get us out of this economic uh, debt that we are in. You're seeing we have uh, an, uh, an obsession to foreign debt. We need f to first tame the the, the borrowing, the mm -hmm. foreign borrow, borrowing. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. to revamp our economy and build our economy from uh, scratch to up. And uh, what William Ruto has uh, brought into the table, he has brought in a bottom-up economic model, a bottom-up economic model that is going to bring up people from the machinani upward. But a hundred billion, is, is, is it achievable? Is it possible, economically speaking? It is no. achievable. The government has money. We, you remember we, the last year we had a budget, uh, a budget of around six trillion. Mm -hmm. So I think the money is available. The mm. only thing that uh, should be in place is how we are going to use that money. Look on the other side of Raila. Raila has promised us 6,000 Kenya shillings. I mean, how do you give every Kenyan 6,000 sh Kenya shillings? Yes, it can roll out for maybe a few months, but how about the sustainability? Will it go for... Uh, even a year without the, can the country going running out of money. So we must need a person with a plan. So you're saying the 100 billion Kenya shillings to be used for housing and manufacturing is sustainable? It is available. And that's not a new thing. You remember the Uhuru Kenya... For, for, no, forget availability, uh, sustainability. It is sustainable. Remember Uhuru Kenyatta had the big four agenda. We had mm. the housing and manufacturing uh, in place. So I think Ruto, what he's trying to do in that sector of housing and manufacturing, he just wants to uh, move to progress the work that has already been done by Uhuru Kenyatta, mm. which is commendable. We must give credit where it's due. Uhuru Kenyatta has done his work, and it's like time now for his deputy to take part and uh, continue with the work. Honorable William Ruto said, and I quote, we shall empower everyone so that we eliminate poverty and ensure every citizen is off the poverty line. This year, we shall vote to end poverty. That is his main agenda. It's, Why are you laughing? It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny, it's funny, Ram. You see, to be honest, let us have this honest conversation. And Kirago will agree with me that President Uhuru Kenyatta has done a lot of work. Uh, he has he? Now, the Jubilee government has done a lot of work. With, Uhuru, with uh, <laughs> William Ruto included, that's so, so, uh, Kirabo, so, uh, in which party is, the, is William Ruto in? The William is, Ruto, is it in Uda or is it in Jubilee? Because I can't get it. I mean, clear. we elected both leaders in the, in the, both on a Jubilee ticket. No. And uh, mm. we are in 2022, we must understand the polit political realignments and uh, fixing. So it's not something new. Okay. Yeah, so, but but your point is? Uh, my, my point is... Uh, uh -huh. Kirago says that uh, uh, Deputy President has done a lot of work. I yeah. wonder which is this work he, he has been doing over in, uh, well, he is cruising all over Mount Kenya in choppers, eh, giving out wheelbarrows. You see, Ram, to say the truth is, William Ruto has been in campaign trails since he was elected Deputy President. So he can't take credit. Actually, he goes everywhere he goes, he says, he government, he jafanya, he jafanya. Then, when it is convenient for him, he, he is a man of double speak. Mm. I even wonder, how are you guys running that party? But he is still promising Kenyans what they need. He's talking to the youth, the hustlers that keep on struggling each and every day to get money. And they are listening. Remember, it's the same youths. He promised one million jobs. He promised them Kamarin Stadium. It's the same youth. Together with Uhuru Kenyatta. I think, I think Ram, we elected... Uh, we have elected the Jubilee government mm -hmm. to uh, for two terms mm -hmm. in 2013 and in 2017. 
in on the part of 2013 it went really well mm -hmm. uh, when it came to 2017 2018 um, uhuru kenyatta did the handshake with, with uh, raila odinga then raila odinga was uh, he was before then he was the opposition leader of kenya mm -hmm. now he took that position of uh, the deputy president of kenya and it can be seen it's evident William Ruto has no place in the Jubilee government. Mm -hmm. You've seen in the in the state projects. Even we saw Raila Odinga the other day launching a state project in uh, in uh, West Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we've seen uh, Ruto has been uh, taken away. The power has been taken away. He's not a deputy president anymore. Mm -hmm. He's a deputy president uh, by virtue of uh, the seat, but not with the power that how, he how, how to say he's the, not a deputy president anymore. I mean, look at the powers. He, he no is power. the deputy president. He has no power. Yeah. He's not invited to state projects in in Kenya. We only see Raila and Uhuru Kenyatta. I mean, you can see the push away between the Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, William Ruto. And that's what you're saying. We elected Uhuru Kenyatta and, uh, and William Ruto on a jubilee ticket. Uh, and uh, they formed a government. And that government has been carrying out its mandate uh, to bring uh, development to the people of Kenya. And we must give credit where it's due. Allow me, where Uhuru Kenyatta allow me, allow me, has done infrastructure, yes. All right. William Ruto is included. Where uh, Uhuru Kenyatta has built um, roads, mm. William Ruto is included. Where Uhuru Kenyatta has opened water projects, William Ruto is included. It's a jubilee government. Okay. Now, 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 now bef bef before you respond, I, I would like to quote Honorable Musala Mudavadi. He said this, I have stood with Raila for many years. I am tired now. Very tired to continue supporting Raila to show that I am tired. There is only one way to show it. On August 9th, I want us all to come and vote against any person who does not have the Kenya Kwanzaa ticket. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I, I want first of all to, to respond to Kirago because uh, I feel I feel that him, the deputy president, is mm. taking advantage of the work that is being done by the president. Uh -huh. And I will say this mm. in totality that there is no work that can be done by a person who has been in campaign trails for over nine years. There is no work that can be done. And the president said it very clearly. Let us hold all this siasa. Let us join hands and work for Kenyans. Mm -hmm. He even he even had the, the 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 handshake that they so much ruth, so that we could have peace, so that those mamamboga can continue doing their work at the city market. Because you can remember, Ram, this country some time back we didn't have the the the, the quietness that could favor businesses. So I I really wonder why. Why, if people coming together in search for peace, why would it bother someone so much unless they are benefiting from those chaos? Okay. And that is the deputy president. Why would he... But, 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 to, claim, so but to claim that that evidence is quite uh, is malicious. Uh, but the, the truth is there. I mean, there's, there's so much with the, the, the handshake that to, to, to claim that without evidence is malicious. <laughs> Don't you agree? I mean, <laughs> Ram, we have a very okay. good. Yes, Graham. We have a very good and honest president, mm -hmm. whom we respect too much. He's the president of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember also in 2017, he came out and said that Unona huyu mtu anatanga tanga huku. He meant that he has sent Ruto out to talk to the people of Kenya, to ensure that state projects are well done. And uh, him, he's accusing William Ruto of camp campaign trails. For the last three years, what have we been doing? It has been BBI, BBI, constitutional amendments. When people are dying of hunger in Trokanda, we, we are bringing BBI proposals to the table. When people are dying of health care, we are bringing BBI proposals uh, to the table. BBI proposals were of not uh, much need to the people of Kenya. I mean, these are things that can come later. Constitutional amendments can come later. 
we must first look at the at the livelihood of Kenyans and ensure everyone has food at the table. All right. I want us to to, to, to move to the next to the other question that I had asked you yes. earlier yeah. on about what Mudavadi said. That this time round we are voting and he said that he has stood with the Raila for so many years, he's now tired and this year in the coming election mm -hmm. he wants any he wants Kenyans to vote against anyone who does not have the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, uh, a ticket. Uh, personally, uh, you know, what Musalia says, and um, as the party leader of ANC, uh, I'd like to say that I have a lot of respect for him. But I really wonder even why Kenyans know Musalia Mdavadi, because he has never worked for anything in his life. Politically, he has been a minister, <laughs> he has been a vice president, <laughs> he has worked <laughs> in so many uh, <laughs> positions Ram, politically. I, Ram, I have what a reason why I'm saying this uh, because um, Sadia Mdavadi, how did he come to, to the limelight uh, politically? It was because his father died, so the people felt the need with all that remorse. Are you saying Musala Mdavadi, as a person, has not done anything in this country politically? For himself, what do you mean when you say politically? I know <laughs> what do you mean when you say politically? Uh, uh, Ram, I'll tell you, um, because I feel that Musadi Mdavadi is uh, a product of being given things uh. actually, things being given out to him, and this is why he was hoping that the president would support him. Remember, the other day he was with the president at Mombasa, but when it, w it became very apparent, clear that even with the ticket, Mdavadi could not, uh, could not win. Because for himself, he, he, one, he is a poor ground mobilizer, to say the truth. And I think the, the biggest rallies that they have held, it's with the, with the deputy president. So they are riding with his wave. To say the truth, eh? so uh, I would like to say that uh, probably there, there is no so much uh, uh, we can take from, uh, so much weight we can take from Sadia's, uh, Sadia Mdavadi. I would, I would like to, you to know that he has been vice president. I know. He has been Minister of Finance. Those things he were, he so was appointed. It Kirago. is. Yes, uh, uh, Kirago, what do you think of all of these things? I think he has something personal with Musalia Mandela. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing personal. <laughs> and I said that I respect him uh, from the word go. I said that I respect him as a party leader. Because that was a nice move. How do you respect him when you say he, 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 he has nothing to offer? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you see, sometimes uh, even luck, uh, it goes to somebody <laughs> who has nothing to offer. <laughs> I mean, when you look at the history of Musele Mudavadi, um, I think he has, he's a man who has toiled so hard for this country. He was once the finance minister of Kenya in the 1995, at a time when the Kenyan, Kenya's economy was already down on its knees. He is the man who uh, was mandated to... Uh, to pull out that economy out of the, the out of danger, and uh, he has been vice president of the Republic of Kenya. I know you know the work of the vice president. He's under the president, and you know the work of the president. The vice president is to ensure that projects are done well under the, the leadership of the president. And at the moment, we can't also ignore that Musale Mudavadi is uh, the leader of ANC party. Lead, ANC party a party that has members both in the county assemblies, uh, in the national assembly, in the senate. And I think he's a man not to ignore. And looking at the future of Kenya, we saw the other day Musale Mudavadi joined hands with, with William Ruto. And I predicted that because, I mean, they have some kind of magnetic control of uh, their ideologies. They keep talking on, about the economy. We had Musale Mudavadi saying, Uchumi Bora. He was, uh, he, he's mandated, uh, I mean, he's aimed at ensuring that he does, he does away with corruption in Kenya. He does away with the ballooning debt crisis in Kenya. When you look at the other hand of William Ruto, he has the bottom-up economic model. And I think the, when they join hands, they have a future for Kenya. And uh, what is um, at the table is how fair will be the power-sharing deal be? That should be the question. Because will, will Musalia Mudavadi accept to be Ruto's deputy president? Will Musalia Mudavadi accept to be, uh, to be William Ruto's minister? Or rather, will William Ruto accept to be Musalia Mudavadi's deputy president? I think that's where the question should be. How fair will be the power sharing deal be?
Ram, I would like to, to interject. I didn't want to, to, to stop his flow because I could see how he was going. But uh, allow me to remind him that when Musadiyam Davadi was the Minister for Finance, he didn't do anything for this country. Actually, that was when we had the biggest, the mega scandal, corruption, the biggest corruption scandal ever, the Golden Bug. You remember that? You remember that? Exactly. So when he became the vice president, he couldn't even stay for over four months. Mm -hmm. Musadiyam Davadi is the shortest serving vice president. So when I say that, Personally, I don't take Musadiyam Davadi seriously. It's because it's, it's, it's true. Remember, me, when, when he joined hands with the William Ruto, how many, uh, right now, how many members of parliament? He has only 13. Who? Musadiyam Davadi. ANC which which has only 13 which, members. Which is a huge, huge number. Do you know how, how many, many are, <laughs> <one> <laughs> how many are remaining? Right right now. Let me ask a question. Do, do you know even getting one member of parliament into parliament with a particular party ticket is hard? It's very hard. I know, I know it's hard. He has worked. Now you have 13. <laughs> he has 13. Let's, seven just, have say, let's just even five. Seven have, seven have already left. And I, I'm even predicting that the others are on their way. Because they feel that what Musadiyam Davadi is doing is not a representation of what their party I, stands for. Are you predicting that ANC will not have any representation in parliament come 2022? Yes. I mean, <laughs> Ram. No, let, 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 let me get this clear. Say it in your own words. Yeah. Yes. What are you saying? Are you saying that in come 2022, ANC party will not have any representation either in the Senate or the National Assembly? Uh, Ram, I'm saying uh. what Msadiyam Davadi took to William Ruto as ANC, it was a shell. It was Answer a, the it's, question, Faris. It's a buzz without people. Answer the question, Faris. <laughs> you said yes. I'll, I'll tell yes you. what? Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, yes. um, because ANC, its, it's uh, stronghold is in Western. Mm. And if, if Musadiyam Davadi sticks to the deputy president of Kenya, William Ruto, it will be hard for him to get members of parliament. So are you stronghold. saying that if Honorable Musadiyam Davadi sticks with DP William Ruto, he will not have any representation in the Parliament, I'm the National you. Assembly, and the Senate. Yes. I mean, okay. Uh, yes, these guys in Jubilee are kind of uh, what we'd call from the Bible prophet of doom. Uh, <laughs> they say that uh, the Hasla nation would uh, lose in Kiamba. The Hasla nation took, won the seat in Kiamba. They say that the Hasla nation would lose. Uh, in Rorie, Nyandarwa County, the Hasla Nation won the Rorie uh, by election. And now they are saying that Mudavadi won't even have an MCA, uh, incumbent MCA in the, in the 2022 government. Not just MCA, he's saying MCA, MP, Senator, anyone who is having the ANC party ticket will not be in Parliament. Especially, especially from Western. I mean, yes. in <laughs> politics. In <laughs> politics. I will call you. What if we have people getting in the, uh, getting into parliament? What if that happens? Ram, I'm telling you, it will be hard. It will be hard. I mean, okay. In politics, there are no impossibilities, but it will be hard for ANC, very hard for them to get representation. To, to get representation, especially from their stronghold. I mean, I think his argument is based on the realignments within the ANC. We saw the deputy ANC leader left the ANC party and we are in 2022 mm. we had we have reached the home stretch of the 2022 electoral period so and it's a perennial thing we must be aware of the realignments within the political misfits and uh, you see coalitions coalitions never go coalitions in Kenya never finish even one political cycle uh, not even one coalition or alliance have ever finished one political cycle. We had NAC Kenya, we had PNU, now we had Jubilee, that is Aramshaku House. Uh, we must agree that coalitions never finish one cycle. We had NASA, which didn't even uh, clinch a, a seat, uh, the seat, the presidential bid. So we must be aware that we are in 2022, we must be aware of the re political reali realignments ahead of the 2022. You remember politics about interest. 
So when you see a leader moving, shifting from this political allegiance to this one, there's something he's, he or she is doing. You saw uh, Waigoro moving from Jubilee to UDA. Let me, let me quote Honorable Moses Rutangula, speaking of coalitions and debts, and you've, you mentioned mm. uh, debts. Honorable Moses Rutangula uh, said that uh, he has a problem with the, the Kotu Secretary General, Francis Atwoli, and that he's uh, accusing him of buying members of parliament to join uh, uh, to join Raila Odinga in, in, in Azimio. I think that uh, uh, he said that voters cannot be bought. And he said this, and I quote, we want to tell Raila that he has our debt, but we want to remind him that the Luya nation is not interested in the debt anymore. Your response to that? I mean, first, I think we must ignore the comments or by the actions of Atoli. Atoli is not a politician. He should not concentrate on politics. Instead, he should be concentrating on uh, things to do with workers, the, the pay cuts and everything. And I think in politics, you must, if someone has done you well, you must do, in return, do something well. But now we have seen the the climate has changed. We see uh, Uhuru Kenyatta promised Uhuru Kenyatta kumi yake, but now the story has changed. Uhuru Na, prom promised uh, Ruto, Ruto kumi yake. Kumi yake mm. But now mm. you've seen uh, it has changed. And but now, must, now they're talking about the debt. Uh, they, they, they no longer want it paid. Uh -huh. they, and according to Honorable Moses Wetangula, they, no, they, they no longer need it. They will. They are okay the way they are, and the Luya nation is not going to rally behind Raila Odinga. Yeah, that's it. I think Wetangula, as a leader, as a leader from the Luya nation, mm -hmm. he is quite optimistic about the future of Kenya. Now that they're in the hands of uh, William Ruto, they no longer need the debt. They are going to. They believe that they're going to move forward with the deputy president on board. You respond. But. Um, I'll just like to probably brush it off and uh, and say that uh, uh, Moses Wetangula, uh, I don't know what the value he is bringing to Kenya Kwanza. <laughs> for, for sure, he is losing his grip in, in Bungoma. He is losing his grip in Transoia. Uh, right now, uh, George Natembea ca can, can actually organize better meetings in Transoia than Wetangula. But all the same. Uh, since he is the party leader of uh, Ford, uh, Ford Kenya, I don't think that uh, Raila owes them any debt because the, this, the, the, the debt that he purports he never wanted paid. Mm -hmm. Because even when the, those people supported uh, Raila Odinga, they did it uh, wholeheartedly. I can't remember when Musadia was uh, on the ballot. If that could have been uh, been told that uh, probably he has more votes uh, or to, to bring on, on, on the table. Raila Odinga got more votes in, in Western than Musali Mdavadi when he was the presidential candidate. So this debt that uh, Wetangula purports, uh, I don't know exactly when, uh, when Raila Odinga said that uh, support me and I'll support you back. He mm. never said that. The, 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 there is a, a, a particular theory uh, that is being stirred by uh, Senator, Senator Cleophas Malala. Mm. And uh, he's saying that uh, Azimio Laomoja is an extension of ODM party. It's what fair. are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, ma, 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 uh, let me say that, mm. that um, as, you has, as you have seen, Ram, mm. most of the meetings that have been done for Azimio Laomoja, mm. Even ODM are coming in as partners. Mm. Jubilee are coming in as partners. Mm. So, uh, wh whatever he says that uh, the the Azimio Moja is an extension of ODM. Mm. In, in fact, uh, we are we are bringing in Lairo Odinga as a as a brand himself. Mm. ODM are coming in to partner with the Jubilee and all the other parties and he, and, and that and we want to foster peace. Senator Malala is saying this, and I quote, I want to state that these parties that are formed are state-funded to divide the Luya vote and ensure Raila gets the vote. But the Luya vote has never been uh, united. Been united. Okay, Kira? I think uh, I think I'll start it off from where I said that the Luya vote has never been united, and that is true. But uh, looking at the things, the way things are at the moment, mm. they are united, and I think moving forward, uh, they have great things ahead of them. 
And uh, what Cleophas Malala has said about um, Azimia Laumoja being an extension of uh, ODM. ODM and it is state funded. It's true. Mm -hmm. I won't talk about the state funded, but uh, I think Azimia Laumoja mm -hmm. is an extension of ODM. Who is the leader of Azimia Laumoja? His Excellency uh, Raila Odinga, who is the leader of ODM. I think, and also you, you also look at the majority of um, the people in the Azimio La Moja, they are ODM, majority of them. And that's why they brought the political uh, uh, amendments bill, so that they, uh, together with the ODM, uh, Azimio La Moja, they can make a government come 2022, which I don't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think another party is going to make the government come 2022. Azimio La Moja probably won't take uh, the seats. Right. And uh, do you think that uh, the, by stating that uh, Raila Odinga is a state project, he it might, uh, by the root of brigade, stating that Raila Odinga is a state project, uh, might affect his particular run for presidency, that actually Raila Odinga's uh, 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 campaigns and uh, uh, at, the end of the, uh, at the end of the day the vote that he will get might be affected by the fact that he's being termed as a state project. I think, Ram, as I said earlier, mm. at the moment we are in a political dilemma. Yes. And uh, the only thing that, that you can do in a political dilemma mm -hmm. is only work with assumptions. Mm. And assumptions are very close to reality. Mm. So, since we see Raila Odinga being endorsed by the president, Huru Kenyatta. Mm. So, and he's also mm. enjoying state resources and also state machinery. So we, t we can't ignore the fact that he's enjoying a good... Uh, Mass of support from the government of Kenya mm. and also the president Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay. Uh, and uh, looking at the things that the way, the way they are, uh, if I give, uh, if I tell you about the history, mm. in 2002, um, the then president Daniel Toretich Moy, when he was doing away with his term, he stood up and said, "The only person that I want to lead this country is Uhuru Kenyatta." At the moment, Uhuru Kenyatta was not even known, live alone in Kiambu County, where he comes from. So he was endorsed by, uh, uh, by the incumbent president, the then Daniel Arap Moy, mm -hmm. but he lost. This is because Raila on the other side said Kibaki Tosha. And I think this is going to be reflected in, 20, in, in 2022. Okay. The president is going to endorse uh, Raila Molo Dinga, mm -hmm. but on the other side, the electorate will support uh, Ruto because he has been left as an orphan, as a political <laughs> offer. Okay. <laughs> He's going to get the sympathy votes. <laughs> sympathy votes? Yeah. <laughs> Who will get the sympathy votes? Uh, Ruto. Ruto. He's also going to get the sympathy, sympathy votes. Do you, do you agree with him? And it's, will it's, this it's, state it's project tag affect Raila Odinga? It's, it's very good that he has confirmed he, they are banking on sympathy votes. Because they know that they have nothing to show to, to, to Kenyans. Uh, I'll say this, uh, Ram. You see, when they state that uh, Raila Odinga is a state project, it's because his, his bid has factors and people can see the reasons why Raila Odinga wants to be the president. On the other hand, there is a man who can't actually show anything, so they have to come up with propaganda and uh, start stating that uh, uh, Raila Odinga is a state project. I mm. said it from the word go. If Raila Odinga was a, a state project, because it's funny, he has been vying for president since 1997. So can we say that Raila Odinga has been a, a state project for all those years? And the only thing here, and this is why uh, the president who, uh, um, is backing Raila Odinga, is because we in Jubilee, we in Jubilee, and uh, the president, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, is our party leader, we believe in fostering peace in this country. We believe in uh, sharing um, uh, the, the shared prosperity in mm -hmm. this country. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I don't know what you would uh, stand for, but for us, we have very clear goals. I, I think we, want, we want the uh, resources of this country to be, to be shared equally. We don't want a person in Roilo uh, which has uh, five, almost 5,000 5, people, 5, 500,000 people whereby uh, the students there, they are getting a little bit in terms of the bursary amount that they are getting, it's very small. Yet, there is another person somewhere else 
because how, what happens is that we have 100 million per, per each constituency. Mm -hmm. we, we are just saying that in the BBI, like we had, we want to, to have a shared prosperity. Where Kirago stands the same chance with Trump. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with him? Do you agree with that? I think for, my brother has said that I'm in UDA. I'm not in uh, UDA party. Mm. And also he has talked about peace and prosperity. I think Kenyans are very peaceful people. And as leaders, we must be in the front line to ensure that is peace, cohesion, and tranquility in Kenya. So that has been uh, our front line mandate to ensure that Kenyans are peaceful. They enjoy their rights peacefully without interference from any uh, form of government or other third party. But, um, but, 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 but there's something that you said that Honorable Raila Odinga has been vying for presidency since the 1990s. 1992? 1997, yeah. 97, yeah. Till now. Mm -hmm. He has been a state project all these years. No, 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 no. I didn't <laughs> say he has been a state project for, for <laughs> the last, uh, for all those years. Yeah. He has been a state project uh, since 2017. Raila Odinga has been an opposition leader for the last, for the last 10 years. I think in 2002 he was in the side of government. Uh, when he said uh, Kibaki Tosha, mm. but uh, when you come to 207, opposition leader, uh, 2013, opposition leader, 2017, opposition leader, now he's in government. I don't know wh wh what he wants to do with uh, the presidential seat come next year. I don't know what he wants to do he, because he, he's already he wants enjoying. to prevent <laughs> corruption, he wants to stop poverty, he wants to take the economy to the next level. Exactly. I mean, if he wants to end corruption, he should come up with an outlined agenda of how how he's going to deal with corruption if he wants to re, to revamp the economy mm -hmm. he comes out with the outline agenda of about of how he's going to to revamp the economy like what william ruto has done so is, is it wrong if the president rallies his support to Raila Odinga? i mean come august 20 uh, we can't deny that the president of kenya is also a citizen of kenya and he enjoys his bill of rights he enjoy freedom of association a freedom of expression and he also has the right to support anyone he feels like uh, if he wants to support Raila Odinga he can support Raila Odinga but remember about what he promised Kenyans the electorates the millions of Kenyans that came out Zuraku Zuraku that came out and say, voted for him and uh, who uh, and uh, William Ruto he said kumi yangu kumi yako we sh should do away with this politics of deceit politics of betrayal and focus on progressive politics. I'll say this, um, because he has talked about uh, politics of betrayal, he has also said uh, probably that Raido Dinga should come up with a better way of uh, dealing with corruption. And I tell you that we actually came up with those ways. Because in this country, once you, are, you, are, you have a, a corruption case, you, you, go, uh, you go to court, you bribe people. But we had very clear guidance on how we are going to deal with them. With, uh, with uh, corruption and actually it was in the bbi this one that you loved so much you hate it so much yet it was the only document because we had we have to document some of these issues we have to document some of these procedures so that you don't say and it you don't have get, uh, you don't get loopholes to evade justice uh, we had clear uh, we had clear timelines when that if you are you are caught today you are you are you are you have a corruption case, there is a timeline that that case should end by one year. And it's the only way because we have so many of these cases dragging up to now. Mm -hmm. right, right now, the, the NYS, uh, the NYS uh, suspects are still in the court. Mm -hmm. uh, are we, we, we going to get, are we, are we ever going to uh, recover the money we lost? In, so in, so, in so those, you, uh, you, you, you're saying your point is that... Uh, is all, is all exactly. I'm, I'm trying to get what you're driving. I, I'm, I'm saying, um, because he had, he had talked about Raida Odinga should come up with better with, with ways a plan. Of, yeah. Yes, yes. And I'm telling him that there was a plan. Okay, okay. There was a plan, okay. and okay. our plan was very straightforward. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you, a presidential candidate, he, he never talks about, he never talks about how he's going to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. And probably it's because the people who are surrounding him, most of them, they're in court. I mean, with corruption cases. Ram, what I would like to say about corruption. In order to deal with corruption, one, you require political discipline. And uh, you must also be, practice healthy politics. 
And, uh, you know, politi uh, corruption is not all about uh, the millions of Kenyan shillings that you see on newspapers being stolen each and every day. The billions of state projects that are being stolen. I mean, corruption starts with us as the common monarchy. Corruption has been reframed as a form of gift giving or a form of social reciprocity. In that, if I give you something, you must give me something in return. And it begins with the common monarchy. Look at when you get out there to tell the, uh, when you're the, pol the um, policeman, he tells you, let a chai kidogo, even without any mistake that you have done. Corruption bring, uh, starts with the grassroots level. And it needs uh, political discipline, healthy politics, and a discourse that is going to take this country forward. We have Musalem Udavadi, he has talked about how he's going to do away with corruption. We have uh, William Ruto, who has bring, brought up the bottom-up economic model, so that we do away with these people, cartels that are in between government, uh, that are hindering the state uh, resources to reach to the common monarchy. And mm. that's what you're talking about. And that, but the focus is uh, moving this country forward, progressing this country that we love, uh, the Kenyan country. Now, 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 now I, I, I want us to finally touch on this particular uh, area. Uh, of course, that conversation cannot end today. <laughs> <laughs> the corruption but, one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cannot. <laughs> um, I want us to touch on the issue of youth, the youth agenda. Who has the interest of the youth at heart here? And how can we stop this notion of buying votes, of, 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 of giving handouts? Who has the interest of the youth at heart? Paris. Yeah, Ram, uh, thank you so much for that question because um, I was wondering when that question would come. Will come <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I really wanted to point out some issues uh -huh. that we in Jubilee, we are supporting Raida Odinga as the presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. And it's because we have actually sat with him down, sitting with him down and agreeing on one, two, three issues. For example, we, we, we had a sitting at uh, the, uh, here, just here, at the UN Towers. And again, we wanted to meet him as youth. He listened to our grievances. We told him that in your, in, in, in your cabinet, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has been gracious enough mm. to give us some appointments. But we want more. Mm. Because also, as youth, um, we make up the biggest percentage of voters in this country. We make up the biggest percentage of population in this country. So we told him wanted more. And he agreed. In his response, he gave us four yeses. He told us, I will make sure that in my government we have four yeses. We will have uh, PSs also. And uh, so many other things. He, mm. he, 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 has, he has had all these sittings. In Kiambu, we have had a sit down with him. Just Kiambu, youths. We, we told him that our issue mainly mm. is uh, the drug abuse. He told us he, th there are many ways that are put in place for us how we can be helped to deal with those issues. Now, on the other hand, we are dealing with uh, uh, William Ruto, who is promising people money. He says that they are not handouts, but in real sense, those are handouts. Because is there's no 6,000 thing not handouts? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I want to explain that because Kirago, Kirago made a very big mistake. He misinterpreted the whole thing. They view it out of proportion. Uh. And it's only fair that uh. I explain that uh, Ray Rodinga is not saying that for every person we receive 6,000. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't work like that. It, this is a social protection program which we are calling Baba Care. Okay. Whereby mm -hmm. those vulnerable families, you know, Ram, there are people in this country who are sleeping hungry today. There are people who, can get, who can't get uh, clean water. Today, as we speak in this country, so those are the people who will be eligible to get that 6,000. It's not everybody. Uh, uh, and that is very well sustainable because we have been having the, the, the money being uh, given for the old people. Okay, Vanel, can I go? Uh, your thoughts? Uh, Ram, I'm glad that you said that uh, there is a spirit of voter buying in Kenya and especially in local politics. And uh, I must say, as a young man, it's quite, it has been quite a journey for me and campaigning in my villages. And uh, I must tell the leaders that have been elected, they have set a bad precedence to us as young leaders. Because it's very hard for a young person like me who has visionary uh, 
policies to progress the people of Kipipiri to campaign in Kipipiri without a, a financial muscle. Without the financial muscle, you are not even respected. People mm. won't even listen to you. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to who has the people's, the youth uh, at heart, mm. uh, we have uh, William Ruto who has given us the bottom-up economic model. And what is entailed in the bottom-up economic model uh, to these millions of young people uh, in Kenya that are jobless, they don't have uh, money in their pockets, they have gone to schools, they have certificates, but they are still at home hustling we give them money to start up businesses at the local level. Be it Mamamboga, be it Kijana wa Those are not handouts, eh? Not handouts. Okay. It's a program uh, uh, that is uh, seen over by the, the government. All right. Start up businesses so that mm. they, can grow, uh, uh, they can grow from bottom to up. When you look at Raila's thing, he has talked about six, the 6,000. And uh, when you look at the precepts of economics, incentives mm. do work. Incentive do work in the in a bad economy, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a good policy. But one, what you're asking and what you're questioning is, how is it going to be sustainable? And that is a question. How is everything, anything actually going to be sustainable? Whether it is uh, on Rala's side or Ruto's side or anybody's side, it's all about sustainability. We have different presidential candidates that are coming up with different economic plans, different models. The question is, are you reading in between to see who is going to have your best interest at heart. Gentlemen, that brings us to the end of uh, uh, today's conversation. We don't have time, but to uh, watch to hapo. We'll have to continue another day. Okay. Yeah, especially the, the, the youth agenda issue. The youth agenda. Yeah? Youth agenda. We are the, the majority. Agenda. Yes. We need a person that is going to progress us as young yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. need to have that conversation. We need to have that conversation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, but, but that brings us to the end of uh, this uh, particular morning conversation on youth and politics. We still have a lot in store for you right here on Wine the Morning coming up next in, uh, you know, af after this particular short break. My name is Ram Maguka. A big thank you to Kiragu and Faris. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me today. Thank you so much. Asante sana. And I wish you guys both the best in uh, the plans that you are having uh, from home. Thank you so much for being part of this particular conversation. Keep talking to us. The hashtag is Wine the Morning. We're taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Y254. My name is Ram Maguko. See you again. <laughs>